Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Owen John, and this is my first ever YouTube video. The uh, backpacking equipment from Dan arrived, Dan Becker. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you somehow stumbled across this video, I had the opportunity to go camping with Dan Becker. If you have not seen that video, I'm going to link it somewhere. This is my first ever YouTube video, so we'll figure out how to do that. It was an incredible opportunity, and at the very end, he surprised me with my dream backpacking gear loadout. Nearly anything I need to hit the trails almost immediately. A lot of people in the comments in his video wanted uh, kind of an update and to see me receive the equipment. Almost everybody in uh, the comments on Dan's video was extremely supportive and I know he was overwhelmed with how positive the comments were. I have read almost every single comment underneath that video and I was overwhelmed with how positive uh, the feedback was and uh, that's part of the reason I'm making this video. So yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, first off, I ran in to get scissors because I forgot scissors. But now that I have those, uh, I will start going through it. So if you guys watched the video, uh, which I'm sure almost everybody that's watching this video has, you know that this was the uh, the first thing that I received physically. As soon as he handed me his tent, I thought, you know, there was no way there was gonna be any more than that. I was completely surprised. I never expected uh, anything in return for going on this trip besides just the incredible experience. This is the tent that he used on uh, the trip to Pictured Rocks in Michigan. Uh, which is where I live. It's the uh, the Durston, Durston X Mid Pro. I set this tent up immediately upon returning home from the trip up to the UP with Dan, and I immediately was trying to master setting it up. I've already spent a couple nights in this tent sleeping. It's been up to the UP again already. I went camping with a friend and I loaned them the tent that I used uh, while camping with Dan, which is this behemoth. Uh, this thing probably weighs seven or eight pounds. Mountain Hardware bought this on Facebook Marketplace uh, earlier this summer. And I'm glad I had a tent when I went camping with Dan. This tent is so minimalist, so awesome, and it was completely overkill for the camping I was doing with my friend when I went up to the UP. I think I've spent four nights in it already, and I love it, it's awesome. Okay, so the boxes, I have been very excited to open these. I have not opened them, not seen their contents. I can tell you right away that this is the backpack. I'm expecting a Shadow Light, an Outdoor Vitals uh, Shadow Light backpack, which I'm very, very excited for. And then the rest was shipped directly to Dan's doorstep and he packaged it and sent it to me from his house. So that's why all of his stuff is blocked out and I wanna make him have to move uh, and I don't wanna move. Uh, also, my parents would not be very happy. I'll probably do the backpack last and all the other things first because I'm very excited to see uh, what's in this box. All right, let's do it. I've been waiting to do this for a while. This backpack came in a little after this box did. I want to be careful. I don't know if there's anything right at the top. Let's spin it this way. All right. I'm going back now. Here we go. Oh man, I'm so excited. Right out of the gate here, we have the Thermarest pillow, compressible pillow. It was very interesting after I saw the list of what Dan uh, put out in his video about what exactly I could expect to receive. I started to look a lot of the stuff up, go to the exact links for the things and I was like, I wonder what color Dan is gonna pick me out for this. I wonder what uh, what spec he's gonna pick. So I'm happy to say that I do like this pillow. I do like the color. Oh man, so excited. So this is the Thermarest compressible pillow. Very excited to use that. Sleep is really important to me. I like to sleep really well while camping and uh, I presume it'll be the same while backpacking. What is this? Let's see. Oh, look at that, Sawyer. Oh yeah, so Dan reached out to me probably two weeks ago now telling me that Sawyer jumped in and they wanted to hook me up with some stuff too. I think he actually put a, an Instagram reel 
out about it too. So I think there's some things from Sawyer in here that I wasn't uh, expecting. That is a very cool shirt in my size. What else? Wow, there is. So this must be some of the stuff Sawyer threw in. Permethrin, I've used this before on a road trip. That's awesome. Oh man, there's just so much awesome stuff in here. I don't even know where to begin. This, let's see. Picardin insect repellent. I've not heard of this. We'll look it up at the end. Picardin insect repellent, another one. Different from permethrin. Two fancy P words, no idea. Uh, but super stoked. What else? Okay, Picardin again. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This one's in lotion form. Oh my God, Picardin again, a small one. I guess that makes sense. I wouldn't use this big one. Uh, on a backpacking trip. So what else we got here? Sawyer sunscreen. Wow, I'm just grabbing all the Sawyer stuff first, huh? I guess we'll take this one out too. Here's another permethrin. I know this goes on your clothes. Like I said, I've used that before. Stay put sunscreen. Awesome. I burn very easily. Man, all right. Sawyer squeeze. Very excited to use this. I had the, the mini, but uh, I'm very excited to use this one. The mini served me fairly well on a couple of like short backpacking trips. I believe it made the cut in Dan's YouTube video uh, that I was in Boy Scouts when I was younger. So I went on a couple of short backpacking trips and I used the, the mini version of this. So I'm really excited to use this though. And I think going with that, oh, there's so much good stuff. Yes, okay, Knopf. Pretty sure is how this said. So I'm excited to use this setup. I think Dan has used this setup before. A couple other people use this setup. This is a water bladder, two liter water bladder. Um, I don't want to destroy this packaging, but yeah, you'll have to believe me. I'm very excited about all that. Knock Vecto, the Sawyer Squeeze, Soto Amicus. Oh, a whole cook set. So I asked for the Soto Amicus. I guess, no, not asked for this. <laughs> That's the wrong way to put it. It was on my list, a Soto Amicus uh, stove. And I have here the whole cook set pretty light too. I don't know. I don't know what this is made out of, but we have a little stuff sack there. Bigger pot and the stove. Awesome. Wow, that's so, all right, we'll go through all that later. Now, what is this? Nightcore and you, oh, this is my headlamp. Let's see. Still in the packaging that it was sent to Dan in. Oh, awesome. It's the one with the, uh, they make ones that are wire. <laughs> They make ones that are wire all the way to the base. I'm pretty sure the ones that are just this cord all the way to your face, you get these crazy marks, uh, marks all the way around your head. So with that strap, I'm glad that that's the one that, uh, that Dan chose. It's excellent taste. Wow, very light. There's the charger, USB-C. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Very cool, I'm very excited to use this. Okay, next. Now, what do we have here? Um, Cumulus. Is this the jacket? This is so small. It packs down. Yeah, pullover. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so here is the pullover from Cumulus. This is going to be a, a fun time packing this back in. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. It's so light. My KK zippers. That's incredible. I'm so excited to use that. I'm sensing a theme here. I'm probably gonna say that I'm so excited to use that a lot of times. All right, this obviously uh, must be the sleeping bag. Look at how fine this down is. That's incredible. So easily amused. Okay, um, I am not going to, I guess I'll undo it here. Well, let's look at it. Left. Maybe that's the zipper side. This is the Panyam 600. And wow, check personally uh, by a person at Cumulus. Um, I guess we'll, we'll take a peek at it. There's the Cumulus logo though. Wow, incredible. Oh man, this is very exciting. Storage sack. Hello, put that back in there. I'm running out of space on the outside of my, uh, my box here. All right, here we go. The Nemo Tensor uh, sleeping pad. I'm really excited to use that. On the few backpacking trips that I've gone on, I've just used a, um, a foam mat. In fact, the same foam mat that I was using in Dan's video when I was camping with him. Uh, so this is definitely an upgrade. Regular wide, oh, awesome. There's a couple things I'm like, oh, I wonder if he's gonna choose the wide pad or like the narrow. 
Um, and then same thing with like the color jacket or the color, more curiosity than anything. Um, up on there's the, uh, the pump sack, probably. We'll put that back in there. Takes up a lot less space than a foam pad, I'll tell you that. Forgot to put this back in the box. All right. Oh, here's the uh, MSR Groundhogs. The tent, uh, which is, where did I put the tent? I think it came with six stakes. If I remember right when I was setting it up, they're right here. Um, those are really good stakes, really light. Uh, like I said, I've already used this tent a couple times, but I did like having, I added guidelines. So it'll be nice to have the extra stakes for the guideline. What else do we have here? Okay, tenacious tape. Awesome, good for repairs. Got a little brochure here from Sawyer. Oh, more Sawyer stuff. Yeah, what looks like a sticker from Sawyer. Very cool. I think this is an instruction manual and then a Sawyer, uh, I guess a cardboard cutout. Let's see here. I don't know, it's a very cool design. A really cool design. So I guess a little cardboard cutout there, that's awesome. And then, oh, forgot to put this back on the, the Nemo Tensor. Olight Baton 3 flashlight. Pull out. Great packaging. Wow, a really nice bag. And there's, wow, that's a lot smaller than I pictured. That pack's a punch though. 400 lumens, I think. This is the, the, uh, the charging cable. USB. Doubt it's charged. Yep, not charged. Um, but I'm very excited to charge that up and give it a try. What is this here? Oh, a little uh, strap. I guess I'll just take all of this. Got a lot of cleaning up to do after this. <laughs> like Christmas morning. I think this is the last thing in here. Oh, near zero. Dan just put out a video with this near zero stuff. I'll have to look into that. It looked like they had some good stuff. And then the Helinox Chair Zero. God, I'm super excited to use this. This is one of those things that was probably the, one of the last things I was gonna gonna buy on my list just because it's one of those luxuries and now I don't have to buy it. It's just such a blessing. Okay, awesome. So that's, uh, that's all that's in this box. I guess I'll open the, uh, the backpack too and then I'll, I'll change view so you guys can see the backpack better. All right, here's the backpack. All right, I will be careful opening this. Looks like they have two layers, so I can't accidentally cut the backpack, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right, let's see it. I'm super stoked. Outdoor Vitals, you have excellent packaging. This is super cool. And there it is, Shadow Light 45. This is just incredibly light. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> I'm speechless. This is awesome. I just, it's very surreal. Put that to the side. And now we'll uh, take a look at everything, I guess. Okay, here it all is. I set it up, took it all out of the packaging so you guys can see it, so I can see it. I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, pretty incredible, surreal feeling. I, I never in a million years thought that anything like this would happen to me, but here we are. So, I mean, thank you to Dan and Outdoor Vitals, the other Dan, Dan Durston, um, Cumulus, REI, uh, Sawyer. Uh, I think that's everybody. I, I just, it's incredible. This is incredible. Okay, so uh, that's the video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, uh, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't like it, please tell me why in the comments, what I can change. I'm sure there's a lot I could change. Uh, I've, like I said, with my first video, I have no format, no mics. I'm filming on my phone. So there's a lot of things that I would, I would like to change, but yeah, let me know if you have any ideas, anything you'd like to see from me. This channel, no doubt in the future, uh, will hopefully highlight any trips that this gear allows me to take. Okay, I had one more thought. I briefly mentioned it, but what to expect from this channel? Obviously, as I said, any trips that I go on with this stuff, uh, I have a fall break uh, trip plan that hopefully uh, I can follow through with, and I would love to use all of this equipment on that trip. Uh, but beyond that, I'm kind of just 
hopefully going to start posting content. Um, it'll just be outdoors in general, and then we'll kind of figure out where my where my niche is from there. Um, I'm excited to see what this channel has in store. Uh, but at the same time, I have two jobs. I'm a full-time college student. So we'll see where this takes me. Uh, but I'm excited to start posting more for you guys in the future.